everybody. I'm gonna go out and check on my plants. I was out here last night and I noticed that there were some lady squash beetle eggs that hatched and they were doing some damage. <laughs> so I had to get rid of them today. This is my white zucchini plant and it had quite a bit of this damage right here. Oh, see, I don't know, is he dead or alive? These little larvae, they have little black hairs on him. He looks dead. No, he's moving. He just moved. I'm just gonna squish him. So. Ew. So yeah, I just wanted to come out here and see if that neem oil killed all of them or, you know, organic stuff. Find that it doesn't do the best job. So, it's like I'll have to come out here and I might have to m manually pick these guys off. I didn't catch them, oh no. I tell. They seem dead, don't they? I don't know. So I'll work on picking those little guys off and getting rid of them. Um, you see all of our black plastic we put down here the weed barrier. Nate helped me do that. This will make it so much easier for me to keep these squash under control. In fact, I noticed I have some growing back here. They're the little, the winter squash variety and let me see, these are the variegated ones. You see them? This one got some bit of damage there too from those darn little lady beetles. Let's see. There's another one. Now if you see these little white things here, though those used to be where the little eggs were and then they all hatched. Yeah, they're usually yellow and an orange, yellowish color when. And I just always just, if I see them, I just squish the eggs. Um, I know some people um, use sticky tape. I just, I just squish them. I don't usually have tape with me, so I'll get another leaf and squish them that way. These uh, tomato plants are growing. Oh, see, this is little caterpillar poops. I was out here last night checking them for caterpillars. I was able to find quite a few, especially the um, the little tomato hornworms. They're funny looking when they're little. They're see normally when they're pretty big when they're they're adults and they have this big horn on their head. Well, when they're tiny, their little horn is just like this little tiny little hair on their head and it looks kind of funny. I don't know. I picked quite a few last night. And then I put um, neem oil on these guys. We were having quite a bit of rain and uh, my tomatoes got a little stressed out because we had just, before that we had no rain at all. It was very, very dry. And then we had all this rain so they're looking a lot better now, but if you can see that, how the leaf curls just like that, that just means they were getting a little bit too much water. So luckily we've got a little bit of dry spell right now and they should perk back up again. I went ahead and planted my Look at these black beans, these black turtle beans. They're doing a lot pretty good. They're wanting to climb on things. But those seeds popped up.
I got squeaky flip flops, y'all. So these are those seeds that I was showing that they were just popping up. Lots of tomatoes, look. These are my Cherokee purples. Quite a few grown. I'm getting some pollen. Hey, Moonlight. Come here, buddy. What you talking about? You gonna hang out with me? Moonlight, what you doing, pretty boy? Come here. Come here, you. He just came out of the girls' room. I was just checking on them. They were still sleeping. I was trying to wake them up. They have been really hard to wake up lately. What you doing? You gonna hang out with me today? You gonna help me squish the bugs? Look at these sunflowers. This thing's huge. Oh my gosh. They're pretty though. I think I might just come out here and cut some of them. And bring them in the house. <laughs> these guys got kinda crazy out here during the rain. Nathan set up these little. <laughs> Hi. He um set up these little seat belts for him. You see here. To kind of keep them up because they get heavy here. This one has a really strong stalk, and it's because it gets a really, really good sunshine. The other ones, not so much. I'm gonna go check out my butterfly bush real quick, y'all. I was looking at it. My butterfly bush up here. And there are lots of them. Um... You coming? You coming with me? Let's go. Let's see now when I was out here there were tons of daddy long legs all over this thing. Now I see one. You see it? When I was little, when I was a little girl, I could pick those things up. I'm too scared to do it now, though. The reason they're on my butterfly bush is I was having some aphids. Daddy long legs or harvestman spiders like to eat aphids. They also like to eat beetle larvae, caterpillars, and kind of weird, they like bird poop. <laughs> but, uh, so, so these are actually good guys. There's not as many now. I don't see any more aphids. So maybe the little harvestman spiders are moving on. I don't know why I'm scared to pick them up. They don't bite or anything. It's not like they have fangs like most spiders. In fact, they're close, more closely related to scorpions than they are to spiders. Their mouth is a lot like a scorpion's mouth or like a crawfish. Moonlight, you leave Starlight alone. I know what you want to do, I know. There they go. Hey T, I'm gonna go water my fern. You come with me? Go see if there's any birds in there yet.
You guys are so cute. Hello, Mr. B. Hello, Starlight. Pretty boy. Yeah, hi. Nope. There's legs in here, y'all. Aren't they cute? Now, I get eggs. I have birds lay eggs in my ferns every year. They seem to be okay with me still watering it, although this plant is quite sad right now. I waited a little bit longer than I should. Hmm. So normally I would squish these little guys. Um, there's so many of them, so I just got a bowl with some dish soap and water, and I'm gonna put them in here, and we'll see how many we get. Where are you guys? I'll see them. Now I sprayed these guys, but I don't know if they're dead or alive. They're moving. They're alive. Some of them are. It's a lot easier just to catch them in the the egg phase. These little guys, they're like small. They're smaller than the other ones. That kind of creeps me out. I just took the leaf off because it's already damaged, so. I just lifted up that leaf and you can see all the dead ones in there. Gross. Look, my climbing wings are starting to make beans. <laughs> That's neat. I was over here. That's oh, the little squash lady be beetle. I just I'll go put her in the bowl too. I was getting more bugs and look, I saw this interesting different egg sac I've never seen before. Uh, this is soap right here, but they're like little white. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna take those off. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know what that is. They're really hard. Oh look, they just come off in a little chunk. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm gonna put that in my bowl too. I'm gonna figure out what those little things are. Look y'all, it's one of our little honeybees. Aren't they cute? Maybe we'll go take a peek at them this morning. Mm -hmm. There's another one. I had a couple other ones fly around my head just a second ago. You are busy today. You're on the right, wrong side of the flower. What are you doing down there? You guys are just busy little bees. <laughs> Go on in there. Do your little job. Oh, you have quite a bit of pollen on the back of your legs. All right, I'm gonna go check on the hive. It is over here. I gotta get back here and mow again. It gets, it grows fast out here. But these ferns, are so pretty, y'all.
I'm gonna come around this side. Make sure I'm not gonna step in any snakes here. They're busy little bees this morning. Take a peek inside. Now maybe this weekend I can get Nathan out here with me and we'll put on our bee suits and actually open it up and you can see inside, which is kind of fun. And um, we haven't opened this one up in a while, so that would be fun to show y'all. All right, y'all, I think I'm done for the morning. Probably come back out this evening and check on everything again, but the sun is starting to come into the garden. So I'm gonna go in. It's uh, Melody's birthday tomorrow, so I'm gonna make her cake. I'm gonna go ahead and get that going today, and then um, she wanted a cat cake. I'm gonna make it look like her kitty cat, Moonlight. He's the little black fluffy one that likes her to harass Starlight. So I'm gonna go get that going and, and hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today, <laughs> checking on the bugs. I don't know, I'm kind of weird that way, I guess. I always like looking at the bugs in the garden and learning about them, finding it kind of interesting. Um, anyway, until next time, y'all, take care. <laughs>